Hi, Z Fan Mama, and today I just want to talk to you guys a little bit about the panic that is going on across our nation. All the schools in our area have closed, everybody's in this major panic to grab everything off the shelves. <sighs> Take a breath, moms. Just breathe. It's all going to be okay. Um, if you're a Christian, you know God's in control. He's al already won the battle, so we don't have to worry about any of that. But what I want to talk to you guys today about is homeschooling or schooling at home. So if you're a homeschooling mom already, probably not a message for you. If you are not, and all of a sudden your children have been thrown at you with paperwork, or maybe the schools haven't given you anything, and just said, keep your kids home for two or three weeks and good luck. That's what I want to encourage you today. So I am a person who homeschools my two youngest, and I believe that our world is school. You can teach them math when you're at the grocery store. You can teach them about caring for animals when you're out, like we have chickens, so we learn about eggs and how the chickens produce them and what's the right foods to feed them. So there's a science that goes with that. So I just believe the, that learning is at our fingertips. So what I want to encourage you today is if you're like, oh my gosh, I've got my kids home, what am I supposed to do? Okay, first off, read. Give them reading books. Whether it is a reading book that is at grade level or below grade level, as long as it's something they want to read, let them read it. We have all of this, like they need to be at this level, they need to do this, they need to do that. I feel like we put so much panic and so much on our kids and ourselves because they sometimes are struggling with reading or math or whatever it is. So get books that they enjoy. Um, Amazon is a great one. They do a lot of like free books or, you know, the online reading things. Or hopefully you've got some books at home. Um, that's the things we do. I completely believe that reading is the foundation for all schooling because you can't do science if you can't read the words. You can't do math if you can't read the word problem. So reading to me is such an important thing and it also gives your kids an escape. So I feel like letting them kind of venture off because when there's books, and I know if you've got littler kids, they have pictures, but as you get older, you make up the characters in your mind. So that's my first thing, reading. Very, very vital. Have them read every day. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, as long as they want. Next thing is, what's the next thing I want to talk to you about? Oh, my gosh, we're stuck. Like California right now, we're having a lot of rain in the Sacramento area. Wheat is a huge thing for us. Um, so we have the Wii system, and I, I'm not like aware of all the other game systems, but we has like the Wii Fitness, and um, what's the other thing they do? Uh, we sports. So my rule is with we is my kids cannot sit down. They have to be up and using their little controller as the racket and moving around the room. And that way they're getting some movement in while still they're fulfilling their video game experience, right? So puzzles are another great time killer. Um, if you have a ball and you can just maybe a piece of chalk or just draw some line in your driveway, two square or four square. Um, coloring is another great outlet to get the kids like focus, put on some music, whether it's piano guys or some fun things, hip hop, you know, dancing, putting on music and dancing with your kids, like be creative. And what I would say is if you've got your kids home and you have never homeschooled or you're like, what am I doing? Have fun in life. Don't stress. And maybe teachers have sent schoolwork home get it done. And maybe, maybe you don't do the schoolwork first thing in the morning, like school does. Maybe you do it after lunch. Maybe you do it in the evening. What works best for your kids and you? I would say try to just breathe. <laughs> um, what is my next thing? Um, oh, art, painting, coloring, drawing, uh, chalk, all of those things are really great ideas. But like one thing, I, again, I just want to say, don't panic. Take a deep breath. Get your kids some vitamin C and good rest and good food. And take a breath. Enjoy this time with your kids. It's like a mini little vacation, right? Nobody's over you saying, be at this, and you're, you're going to get a tardy. You don't have to worry about that. So try to just take this time and enjoy it with your kids and show them how to live life not being panicked. So good luck and comment below if you have any questions for me.